Hey everyone, Hunter Elmore here with Gravity Sketch, and today we're going to be walking through how to take your files from Gravity Sketch and export them into Keyshot for continued rendering and visualization. And for the sake of today's demo, we're going to be using a community creation asset I put together of a truck. So if you want to follow along, you can go ahead and hit your menu button, go down to your import menu here, asset library, we're going to go under 3D assets, community creations, and then we're looking for a file called truck by Hunter. In this case, it's on our second page. So we're just going to navigate to that, click it, and it'll import into our scene. Now we've got that in here, it'll come in with all of our geometry that we've already got pre-built. If I hit that blue menu button again, I can go down to my layer tab. And in there, I'll see that this is already an organized file. We have our sketch group and our surfacing group. Each of that has been broken up by interior sketch, exterior sketch, and interior surface, exterior surface. One thing to be aware of is that when we're exporting files from Gravity Sketch, everything that is visible will be exported, everything that is invisible will not be included in that export. So in this case, I don't really care about these sketch lines, so I'm going to go ahead and turn those off. I just want to export kind of that final surfacing to make sure that's rendering properly in Keyshot. So I'll turn those on real quick, and we can continue on. So the next step in preparing these exports is to make sure my normals are facing the right way. This is really critical when we're working with subdivision surfaces. So I'm going to go to my tool belt icon. It's going to be on the lower button of my drawing hand. And I'll navigate over there to the Flip Normals tool. It'll be this little wand over on the edge. This is what it looks like from your VR point of view. And that'll kind of show me the normals on all of my surfaces. So in this case, I'm just going to go through, click with my index trigger with that wand on these different surfaces to make sure that they're rendering outward. If I don't do this step, I might not be able to see my surfaces render properly when I do export to another program. But once I have everything prepped here in app, I can either export in VR or through web browser, which we'll go to next. To export in VR, we're gonna to go to our menu and click on this upward facing arrow. This is our export submenu. So you'll notice there are quite a few different presets for exports in here. The one we're gonna be using is rendering. This is great for blender rendering, substance painter, and obviously Keyshot. If we click on this settings option, we'll see the different settings and what they are. You don't really need to worry about this, but basically, for rendering, we want to make sure that we have a mesh geometry type, single-sided normals. This is the real important one, sub-D mode set to render, so it'll apply those subdivisions. And our mesh quality, I like to use default. You can obviously go higher if you want to. And then down at the bottom, we have mesh grouping. This is either by layer or by group. Because I have this file organized by layers, I'm going to use that and just go ahead and click that check mark. While exporting from VR can be really nice if I'm already in the headset, I can also export from my web browser on my desktop. So we'll show that method real quick here. If I go to Asset Library, I can navigate through 3D Assets to Community Creations and find that same truck sketch. So we're going to be looking for Truck by Hunter here. And if we go ahead and double click on that, that'll open everything in our web viewer. And once I open it in that web viewer, I can navigate through the file, change my layers, really do the same things I could do in VR, just not actually create content. So I can organize that and then click on the export button and export from here instead of having to go in headset. So because I'm working with Keyshot, I'm going to use that same rendering export setting and click on export when I'm ready. That will give me this pop-up telling me where I can find my export at. And now if I navigate to that location on landing pad, again, that's cloud exports beta is where you're going to find this. I can see that file ready for download. Once I download that file, it's pretty quick to get it into Keyshot. I'm just going to go to file, import, click on the FBX. And these settings don't really matter too much. They're all good by default. So I can go ahead and click import. And I'll see here my file has been imported. Everything is structured by the layers I had in Gravity Sketch. And I can go through and just drag and drop materials on there. You'll also notice that any viewpoints you had prior to export will be retained and dropped over into Keyshot as cameras. So if you want to give yourself just a departure point of money shots or hero shots, this is a great way to do it. And from that point on, it's pretty much Keyshot as normal. So hopefully this workflow of taking objects from Gravity Sketch over into Keyshot for continued visualization is helpful for you guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.